Are you working from home? If you are, this one's for you because we're going to talk about renewing your energy while working remotely. Stay tuned. Um, I was just listening to CNBC, my favorite station, to get all of the, the news on business, and they talked about productivity today. And they talked about, are we going to go back into the office, or are we going to stay at home working remotely? Right now, it's a toss-up. So they talked about a study that Sherm did, and the Sherm was talking about, are companies more productive or less productive with this working from home? And what they found was 45% of the companies that they interviewed said that their productivity increased during the pandemic. Do you believe that? The rest remained stable, but that's a pretty interesting number because people were so worried we were going to lose productivity. But the problem is that we're tired. People that are working from home right now are exhausted. Some of them are saying that they've burned out. You know what? We're, we're working longer hours. We are in more and more meetings. As you probably know, a lot of Zoom meetings are going on right now. We're working longer hours and 70% of us say that we are working on the weekends. That's a big number, right? So what I want you to do today is I want you to kind of shift your thinking. I want you to think Instead of thinking time management, I want you to think energy management. We're going to talk about how we can restore our energy. Um, it's not really my idea. I actually read The Power of Full Engagement way back. This book was written in 2003, and it's been on my shelf for decades. And I do exactly what it says, because they talk about managing your energy, not your time. And I think that's a great concept. Think about it, managing your energy, not your time. Because here's the deal. Our time is finite, but our personal energy is infinite, and it can be renewed. When I read that, I got excited because we can renew our energy throughout the day. They talk about energy in two different ways. They say that we've got positive energy, which is when we're excited, we're joyful, we're excited and curious about work. But we've also got negative energy, and that negative energy is um, we're anxious, we're angry. Think about it. You get a phone call before work one day, and you're on the phone, and maybe you're arguing with somebody. You've now created negative energy, and you have to restore it. So he talks about simple, easy ways that we can begin to restore our energy. I'm going to forget that negative energy today, and I'm going to talk about the positive energy. The positive energy, we are enjoying our work, we're working hard. How do we restore that energy? The secret is that we can renew that energy almost throughout the day, right? So the first thing I want to talk about is simple. It's just that we don't do it. Jim Rohn says things are easy to do, <laughs> and they're easy not to do. But this one, they talk about in the book, it's about taking breaks. They say that we can only really focus at the most 90 minutes. 90 minutes is tops. But today, when we're all watching TED Talks and we're doing things in much shorter, shorter increments, I would say let's look at it in 60-minute increments every hour. Every hour or so, you've got to take a break. And what I mean by taking a break is getting up from your desk, walking around, and doing something that is not related to work. 15 minutes of this, right? It can be, um, we can... We can do a load of laundry. We can listen to a podcast. We can go talk to our kids for a while, but we have to disconnect from work. I say we've got to hit the pause button, and we've got to do it throughout the day. Well, we've got maybe go have a cup of coffee and take a moment and smell the delicious aroma of that coffee, realizing that you're taking a break. When you come back, you have restored your energy, and you're going to focus much better. The second one that we're going to talk about is our breath. You know that expression, don't waste your breath? Well, it really means something because we need to breathe slower. Um, one, of the, uh, one of the studies in the book was studying a golfer. Now, this is going way back. They were studying a guy named Jack Nicklaus. A lot of you probably have not heard of him. I'm from Ohio, and he was called the Golden Bear. He was from Columbus, Ohio, so we all know Jack. But Jack was a very, very focused golfer. He would make those shots, and he was very, very serious. But what they found when they studied him was after each shot, he renewed his energy. He closed his eyes as he walked, and he did a certain sort of breathing, which is what I would like to share with you right now. Because we can balance our energy when we use intermittent, they call it intermittent renewal. So Jack did intermittent renewal. He focused, and then he took a breath. Here's what he did. He extended his exhales. Yeah. So he would breathe in for just about three seconds. 
he would hold it, but he would double that. He would exhale more for six, seven, even eight seconds. He would breathe in and hold it. Try it. Exhale as much as possible and then breathe it in. What you're doing is you're renewing your energy. If it was good enough for Jack Nicholas, it's good enough for me. I have been doing this for years because I'm not only thinking about breathing. I want you to begin to think that you are renewing your energy. So I've given you two easy tips today. Remember, easy to do and easy not to do. Work on your breathing. Take some breaks. And if you want to learn a little bit more, go get the book. I think you'll really enjoy it. See you next time. It's Karen McCullough.